Ukraine can stop Putin if we stand with Ukraine and provide the weapons that it needs to defend itself. Ukraine's survival is on the line, and all of our security is on the line. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin hosting the Ukraine Defense Contact Group at an American base in Germany as leaders pledge to send much needed ammunition to Ukraine while they battle Russia's invasion for the third year. The United States will not let Ukraine fail. This coalition will not let Ukraine fail and the free world will not let Ukraine fail. Kyiv has complained that its troops have been running out of supplies for months, but Tuesday's boosts should change that in a matter of weeks. We have difficult situation on the front line because of lack of um, um, artillery munition. Um, and we hope beginning since April we will have enough uh, ammunition, artillery ammunition, uh, to uh, deter our front line. Canada will also be helping to arm Ukraine in their fight against Putin, with Defense Minister Bill Blair announcing a new military package on Tuesday. Canada is committing over $48 million to the Czech Republic's initiative to purchase large quantities of artillery rounds for Ukraine. Our $40 million contribution is going to enable the rapid delivery of several thousand rounds of artillery ammunition to Ukraine and, most importantly, the ammunition that they have told us that they require. But the support will stop at supplies. Officials maintain that they will not send soldiers to fight in the war. To make it clear, the Chancellor emphasized several times no boots on the ground in Ukraine, and there's nothing to add at this time. While the military packages will give Ukraine a boost on the front lines, Kyiv is still hoping for more money from Washington, where a foreign aid bill still hangs in the balance. We're going to help you, but we have to also understand that the American taxpayer and the American people have needs too. So I was very direct with President Zelensky. You can expect me to always be in your corner, but it's not unfair for me to ask you and other allies pass back down the road if you can. U.S. Congress has been deadlocked on a foreign aid bill that would send $60 billion to Ukraine. House Republicans have been pushing back, demanding more action at America's southern border. Brandon Chogri, City News.